If you ask yourself, why am I here? What is my purpose? How can I fulfill my potential? You're in the right place. Welcome to the Lifestyle, Relationships, and Career Human Design Podcast. I'm your host, Vanessa Naja from VanessaNaja.com. My mission is to help you be on purpose and fulfill your potential by aligning in body, mind, and spirit so you can feel empowered, joyful, connected, and free. I'm so excited to share with you how to do that through human design. If it feels aligned, I'd love it if you subscribe and share. Now let's get to the episode. It's always a good idea to have your human design chart with you when listening. You can get yours for free at my website, vanessanaja.com forward slash free chart. Link is in the show notes. There we won. And welcome to episode 13 of the Lifestyle, Relationship, and Career Human Design Podcast. And today we're going to talk about splenic authority. And remember that authority is how you make the best possible decisions in human design. And this is such an important subject because your decisions are what bring you to where you need to be in life. And where you are today is a result of all of the decisions you have made so far. So learning how to make the best possible decisions for yourself and for your life is so important. So splenic authority is an authority that only projectors and manifestors can have. And usually on your chart, if you have this authority, it will say spleen, splenic, um, I might say splenic projector. And you'll know for sure if you look at your chart, if, well, first of all, you're either a projector or a manifestor, which automatically means that the square second from bottom, which is your sacral center, is undefined. It will not be colored in, it will be white. Now, the other requirement for this authority is that the solar plexus, which is the right-facing triangle facing left on your chart, is not colored in. If it was, you would have emotional authority. So that one's also going to be white. And the left-facing triangle, sorry, the right-facing triangle on the left side of the chart when you're looking at it, that is the spleen center, is colored in. This means you have splenic authority. And the spleen center, this is known as the survival instinct in DG5, which is the business application of human design. And this means that you have consistent access to your instincts and your intuition. They're going to show up for you in a very consistent, reliable way all of the time. This is your energy and you can absolutely trust it. And this is how you make decisions. So this is actually one of the decision-making strategies, one of the ways that allows you to make decisions immediately in the moment, in the now. A decision will present itself and you will immediately know if it's correct for you or not. And the way that you know is, well, it's going to be different depending on how your spleen is configured, depending on how your chart is configured. Usually, there's a couple different ways. If you're a very auditory person, you might hear something, uh, you'll, you'll probably feel something in your body. You might just smell if something is correct for you or not. Like you could just smell out something good or something bad. Um, you might just know, you might just have a sense of knowing that something is right or not. You want to really check in with your body. Like how do your instincts, how does your intuition show up and what does it feel like to you? Because it's going to be unique. And it's going to be pretty consistent. So once you feel into what this feels like for you, you can start to really pick up on it regularly and know right away what your answers are. Now, here's the tricky thing about the spleen. The spleen speaks in the now, and it usually only speaks once. So if you are presented with an intuit, uh, with an if you're presented with a decision to make, you're going to know right away if it's a yes or a no. However, you have to really be present at that moment in order to feel that because your mind, the mind speaks very loudly and the, sp the spleen does not necessarily speak as loudly unless you're being chased by a bear, in which case it will just kick you into action right away. But when it comes to decision-making, our minds can really override our 
authority or our ideal way of making decisions that are correct for us. And it's important not to make decisions from the mind because this is where so much of our conditioning lives. The mind is going to come up with all kinds of stories or logic or why something is good or why something is bad or why you want to do something or why you don't want to do something. And it is, it's going to be very full of chatter. So really being able to get present and feel for you or that instinctual, like in the moment, intuitive hit to give you the answers that you need to make the correct decisions is so, so important. The other thing you want to be aware of with having splenic authority is that you are always going to have an undefined emotional solar plexus. So that's a triangle on the right facing left. That's always going to be white. And this makes you a very empathic person and you are prone to picking up other people's emotions. In the low expression of this, this can show up as not making decisions that are correct for you because you want to keep other people happy. There can be some codependency with this as well. So you want to just be really careful about making your own decisions and listening to yourself because your body knows what is correct for you. Uh, there can be a tendency to want to really avoid conflict when you have an open solar plexus. And just knowing that, you know, the people, the emotions you're picking up from other people are not your own. You can just let them flow through you. Uh, you didn't cause those emotions. Uh, that's an important aspect to know when you have splenic authority and really learning to listen to yourself and not let other people's emotions influence your decision making. Because your body, your splenic authority knows what is correct for you. And ultimately, when you are doing the things that are correct for you, when you are living in alignment with yourself, that's what's best for everybody. Whether they think they're going to like that or not, or whether other people have opinions about it or feelings about it, like that, that's their thing. That's not your thing. So the most important thing is to really learn to follow your decision-making strategy, your authority, which for you is that splenic, intuitive, in-the-moment hit when it comes to making decisions. So that is it for today's episode. Thank you for listening. And if you want to dive deeper into this, um, especially because with projectors and manifestors, really all types, but having a reading and really getting a holistic overview of your chart and looking at how your spleen is defined can be super, super beneficial to get you a better understanding of how this all works in your unique design. And if that sounds interesting to you, if your spleen said yes to that, I invite you to book a reading with me. I will put a link in the show notes. I love connecting with you guys in that way. So it would be absolutely an honor for me to do that. And have a lovely rest of your day. I will see you in the next episode. Bye. If you want to dive deeper, I invite you to get a free human design mini reading report at vanessanaja.com forward slash free mini reading or book a human design reading with me. Links are in the show notes. That's it for today's episode. I know your time is important and I'm so grateful you chose to spend it with me. It would mean the world to me if you engage with the episode by liking, subscribing, commenting, and letting me know any questions you have or what else you'd like to learn about. And the absolute best compliment is if you share with someone you think will benefit. It really helps me spread the message. Love and blessings to you.